Hey YouTube, I got another submission here to my realistic uh, drawing group on Facebook. And in this video, we're going to uh, consider uh, the possibility of whether we can improve on this already pretty good drawing. So, as I had mentioned before the intro, that uh, this is a drawing submitted to the Ricks Can Do It Realistic uh, Drawing Group on Facebook. And uh, what I want to do in this video is uh, discuss if there's anything that we can do to this drawing to uh, bring it up closer to realism. And when we refer to realism is when you get really close to what the original looks like, uh, then you are talking realism. And so in this case here, when you take a look at these side by side, uh, certain things should of course be obvious right off the bat. And with the help of a white sheet of paper here, I'm going to uh, demonstrate something here. I'm going to put this over both the drawing and the reference photo. Take a look at the hair, take a look at the forehead. Now immediately what you should notice, which is very important, is that we have a difference in tone values. In the reference photo, it's clearly darker than you see here. And also inside the hair, you can see that it is definitely darker, where it is lighter here on the drawing. And there's also a little bit as far as the um, proportions, but that's not a big deal. Now, moving on down here, there are details that were left off. Uh, I always suggest uh, that if you're going for realism, don't leave out the details. And when I say details, for example, uh, the gentleman does have certain details that are predominant here in the middle of the forehead, uh, which was left off here in the drawing. Uh, perhaps did not want that on the drawing, that's fine. But it's always a good idea to include uh, the details. What I like about what this artist did here is that he does have an eye for details because I can see this in the way that he drew the details around the eyes, which is very good here. And I noticed that he picked up on the little detail here. Okay, because we're going to focus mostly on the eyes in this video, by the way, because that's the part that really stands out the most. But right here you can see this darkened area, this shape of this darkened area right here is much more prominent and larger than the area shown right here. So these are things that you really want to be careful about that you try to get those a lot more uh, in line with what you see over here. So what I want to do is show how by just getting in the darker areas that you can see here on the side of the face, this whole area right here, and around the eyes. And if we were to apply that to here, to his eyes and the side of his face, how much more that this would come out and pop. Now, the important thing I want to draw your attention to though, is if you look at the eyes, You'll notice how subdued the eyes are here, how in shadow it is, and the whites of the eyes are not white. And that's normally the case in a photograph. You look over here and you see the whites of the eyes are bright white. It's glaring like a, a light bulb. And you don't want that. Uh, you definitely want to key that down. And that's where we're going to focus on here. And the size of the pupils are uh, the size of the irises, I should say, is different as well. So I'm going to focus on that also. And what I'm going to use is some of my darker pencils, uh, especially because of time restraints. But what you should notice right here, if you look in this area of the eye, and let me get close here so you can see, you want to look, see how this dark area goes all the way in into the eye, this whole shadow area right here? leaving just this little shape like this. Then you come over here 
and you don't have that. You have this big white area right here, and this dark area does not go into the eye as it does here. So we're going to uh, do that first in this video. So I'm going to take care of that right now to get us started. So we have this dark area here, comes in at an angle to here. And by the way, I'm using a Geoconda Negro, and I think the number, what's the number on there? It looks like it's an 8815-1, in case you guys uh, ask me, what was that dark pencil you were using? Um, it's not really a charcoal pencil, it's just kind of a dark pencil. And so we're going to go ahead and just get in there, like so. Okay, then here I got to get this darker here. And all around here, okay. And this is going to keep, keep moving into this area here. So I'm going to move into this area here. I'm going to replicate the dark areas as best as I can. Now I want to, if you'll notice that light area within there, I need to get that shape down. But I'm not going to draw on that area because I'm going to blend in it. And by blending in it, I'll get a better, lighter tone. Because the pencil will be too dark. So I'm going to use my paper blender here. And here I'm going to go ahead and start shading this all in. Give it a nice blend. And then subdue the areas down that I can see in the photo are not as bright. I want to make sure that I subdue that in the drawing as well. Now again, if you are new to my critique videos, this is a printout of the drawing, which means I cannot erase anything. And being able to do this on the uh, printer paper is you know very restrictive so there's only so much that I can do uh, to improve on a, a, a let's say improve on a drawing when I'm critiquing but it's enough that I can you know at least get the point across maybe show uh, some improvements and that's all I can ask for I guess okay so now I'm going to use this to subdue that white. And get that tone darkened. Just like in the photograph. I'll need a little bit more up here. And I notice that the shape of the eye is, the iris is off, so I'm going to have to, I wish I could erase in here because I need more of the white of the eye to go this way as I expand out the shape of this iris, but it's only so much you can do with a printout. And that top, uh, light detail needs to be a little bit smaller there so I'll shrink it down a little there we go and then again I'm going to subdue that white I don't want it so white in the eye okay and then I'm going to take my kneaded eraser because When you go from the top here 
down to the bottom of the white, it goes from a little darker to a little lighter, but just not white. So I'm going to go down the low end here and start taking off some of that I put on there just to bring that out. But unfortunately, I cannot do any real erasing that I would love to uh, because I need more of that white, of the shape of that to be a little larger. But I'm going to get as much as I can right there. And also on this other side, you want to get the bottom half just a little lighter just a little lighter than the top okay so if you look at that then I need to lightly darken these areas here And he's got these details in, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and get that in there because I'm going to have to blend over it. Okay, and then we'll just blend that. Alright, now we have too much of a dark area in here. Um, I cannot erase what is already printed on the paper here, but I can just darken this area just here to give the shape, the original intended shape. I want to make sure that detail is a little more predominant than the part I cannot erase. That loops up a little bit right there. So we want to get that and then the neighboring area I'm going to subdue, subdue it using some of the material I just put down and subdue all this by just blending into the neighboring areas there. Okay. And then this is going to be the fun part here is once I get this done in here like so I want to show you something here. Okay, I'm going to take my Tombow here, for example, and now that I've put some material down, hopefully I can get this real shiny reflection area you see right there on the top of his lid here. Let's see if I can get this in here. I may or may not be able to, depending on um, how much was available underneath that was white. Because I can't take the printed part off, unfortunately. And I don't think I can erase it with an electric, but I'm going to try. And also grabbing my white gel pen to make up for what I can't erase. Maybe I can put some white in there. Let's find out. First let me try let me try this uh, AFMAT electric here. I'm trying to Burl through the paper there. A little hard to do, but I'm going to put a little bit of this wet gel in there, like so, and hopefully that will compensate right under here. Okay, here, right there. Now with this stuff, I can't erase any mistakes, so I got to be careful. All 
right, we'll let that dry before I try to subdue any of it. Here's a, a 12B pencil here. I'm going to kind of go in there a little bit and Uh, 12B is not working too good on this paper, so we'll just stick with uh, this Geocondo here. So Dario right there needs a little bit of attention. Area here. This part here was missing. Got to put that in there. Okay, let's see if I can subdue this a little bit now. I think it's a little too bright. There we go. And here. Alright. Not too bad. There we go. Yeah. I'm liking that. All right, let me get this all done again. Now, I'm going to use some, uh, let's see, this is graphite. I don't know if this graphite's what I want. I might want the charcoal, but let me try the graphite first and see what happens. I need to get the tone around his eye to get a little darker here. So let's see if we can do that. Yeah, that looks like it'll be okay. Just want to get that tone down because we we do not have enough tone on the drawing itself. Now I'm not going to do the whole face. I'm only working around the eyes and everything, just so that you will you'll get a good idea on how you can bring this, make this a little more realistic. It's just not to be afraid to go darker is the key. You got to go darker in your drawings and you gotta make sure that you uh, you get those details in there don't skip the details just because you think it's tedious or something to do you don't want to do that Okay, so now we can get in here and start taking care of some of these little light details. Uh, little light detail right here. Looks like I'm not going to be able to remove that. It's a printout. Let's see if I can do it with a little wet tip here. I'm actually going to end up removing some paper by doing it that way, but there's nothing else I can do to demonstrate that you want you want the details. You don't want to leave out any of these details. So that little lightness there, you have a lot of areas here that just needs to be little erase specks. Right. Okay. Now I can still see that the eye needs a little more in the darkness realm. So right here especially. Mm. 
we get the glare of the um, what do you call it the graphite in the camera that's the part I don't like have to be careful with that okay so I think we can get that in there like so okay yeah I didn't like the graphite part especially in the camera it doesn't look so good so let me get that in there alright so I think I'm getting it closer to realistic now if you can see and then you look at what the way it was before you can see now it's improving to look more like that alright so you just need to get in here and get dark and the nice thing about going dark is that it allows these highlights to uh, really stand out now this little highlights too big I'm going to shrink it down a little bit because it's too big there we go that's it all right and we see this area here there it needs to lighten up a little bit so I'm going to take my Tombow and just gently stroke that up like so and get some of this see if I can get that to to show because um, I put a little bit of material down just maybe I can get it light enough Well, I'm not going to be able to get in there and do that. It's not going to let me erase all that printout stuff. But I'm going to simulate it the best I can. He's got these little dots that come down here. You want to get those in there. this line through here like so yeah baby that's how you do it okay now here along the edge of this wrinkle the light catches that and it's not reflected on this ridge here which really should be in there um, this may be difficult for me to to bring out because again, this is a printout. Let's see if I can get a point on this. Okay. Now let me see if I can if I can by chance get some of these highlight details in here because that's what's really going to make a drawing. So the first thing is right underneath the wrinkle there. Matter of fact, let me just zoom in so you guys can really see what I'm looking at. Because this is really an important lesson. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Okay, I, I hope you can see this, but right... You can see here is this wrinkle, this dark line. And if you look, you have highlights right on the ridge and then as you go down it starts to darken because it's coming and reflecting the light when it's at an angle to the light coming in this direction and then it moves away you want to capture that light and so over here here is the wrinkle and I want to get that light right in there so that's what I'm going to do right now And I'm going to try to do it with this eraser, but again, this is a printout, so it's only so much I can do, but let's see if I can do it.
Yeah, look at that. And there you go. I got it all nice and plumpy there. Okay. And let's see. I can't probably can't get this part. I'm going to try the gel pen to get this light part in here, but it's going to be too bright. And I'll see if I can subdue it afterwards. But it's probably going to be too bright. Yeah, it's definitely too bright. So let me put it in there and then wait for it to dry a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, knock it down. Let's see if that works. That would really uh, help me do these uh, printout type drawings. Yeah, it works a little bit. It's not the greatest, but it works a little bit. Okay. Details, details, and more details. All right, so there we go. Get a couple of these in there. For good measure, got a couple of those. Has one here, this little line here. Okay. Now you can see this area here is definitely darker. So you don't want to uh, you don't want to leave all that out. Comes up here. Okay. And then you just Go from dark into the light. Subtle blending over to here. And then I'm going to just, I'm just going to take the eraser here, guys. And what I need to do now is mimic this light area here over here. So I'm just going to come in here and just start dabbing with my kneaded eraser. Checking the the shape pattern, the shape pattern of this lightness area here. How it comes from this up here at the the eye. If you can see what I'm doing. Down to here. Try not to let any lines show up. Like, for example, let me show you that. You can see how it comes in from here on the side of the face, goes from dark to a lighter area, but it's a very gradual. And then you can see I have a sharp line here. So I have to do the same thing, is I need to come in and just start to feather that out into the light. Like so, just feather it in. I'm holding in the back here very light because as it goes around the cheek it needs to go lighter and lighter and that shows the roundness of his face Okay, you can see now that I got that gradation thing going now there's much more that can be done for this
but I have to uh, I have to make sure that I don't get too carried away but here's some small details you want to get that in there because that's part of the face so let's see we'll gauge that it's right here Okay, then we'll just tone it down with the blender. Lighten up areas around it because it's not the same tone on all sides of it, so some sides lighter than others. here it'll look brighter up front and then I'll have to subdue it see and then we'll just come in here and do that got some light streaks here here See, we want to get all those details in there everything you got these nice little light details here you want to get those in there and uh, use your pencil to come in here and create those those wrinkle lines so you're going to come in for example and you'll put in a thin line now this is not writing is it okay here we go not, I should say not drawing, not, not writing. So for example, let me just put a few in here. I'm not going to do this whole face. Like I said, I can easily get carried away here because I, I like doing this stuff. Okay, so let's say you have you have this here, just, just for giggles, okay? Then we're going to lighten this down a little bit, so I'll just kind of stroke it a little bit with my paper blender just, just to subdue it. And then I'm going to come in with an eraser, for example, and I'm going to find where the lighting is hitting it. And I see right on those ridges, so I'll come in here and I will try to make sure that I get those. And that just adds nice little details to the face. Well, everybody, um I seem to have lost the last bit of my footage and I didn't realize it until after I was in editing. Uh, but I wanted to show you the final picture here. On the left is the original photograph. On the right is the printout with my adjustments drawn on top of it. Um, I clearly you know, could not erase uh, some of the lines and marks, of course, because it's a printout. But uh, as you can see, uh, it looks way more realistic now. It looks a lot like the photograph than it did uh, before. And so I wanted you to see just how well and how much you could improve your drawings by just going a little darker and not uh, skipping over the details. And in case you forgot uh, where I started from, um, on the left is the original drawing as printed out and before I started uh, this video. So you can see that uh, the tone is different. Uh, the eyes now pop and uh, it looks much closer to the original that you can see here on the left hand side. Okay, well I hope you like this uh, video so please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe and the notification button so that you'll be notified of my next video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.